thing is, Sadie, I really can't... I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but... I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but... I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. We'll land the boat in the morning. The prisoners come back out to work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot and look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? Okay, bring us over. We good? Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that bar, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Move over, will you? Thing with you standing there. Where are you going? Let's go over there and see.
Okay. Come on up. All right. Where's John? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out, and let's go get our boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still moving. <gasps> Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving! Where is he? You see him? No! You! Mister! You know John Marsden? I... He ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <laughs> Now, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. Now, who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down, now! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11? 
12, 13, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John, blow you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Let's clear these and make a run for it! Some fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Turn that point around, or we will gun you down.
I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the... hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack and... Stu. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. <coughs> Hosea. That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost oh, somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm and... We ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. I guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all.
Arthur. Arthur. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Arthur. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Susan? Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash it? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. Me too. Street rat when he found you. He believed in you when no other son of a bitch would. Oh, and him? You ain't been nothing. 
Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. It was time for Strauss to go. Sure, I won't miss him. There's a few others should go, too. Okay, guess I'll see you later, then. Sure, Arthur. Let's go, girl.
Oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up. Or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully. And he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. You saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. So much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. 